Hello friends and welcome to the tutorial on getting started with lists. In this tutorial, we will be getting acquainted with a python data structure called lists. At the end of the tutorial, you will be able to create lists, access list elements, append elements to lists, then delete elements from lists. So now, list is a compound data type. It can obtain, it, it can contain data of mutually different data types. List is also a sequence data type where all the elements are arranged in a specific order. Start the IPython interpreter and first create an empty list with no elements. So in command, type IPython. Then type MT is equal to the square bracket. Then type MT. MT should be in closing brackets. This is an empty list without any elements. So let's define a non-empty list as so type non-empty is equal to within square brackets in single quotes spam comma x comma hundred comma one point two three four. Thus the simplest way of creating a list is typing out a sequence of comma separated values or items between two square brackets. As we can see, lists can contain different kinds of data. In the previous example, spam and x are strings whereas 100 and 1.234 are integers and float respectively. Thus, we can put elements of different data types in lists including list itself. This property makes lists heterogeneous data structures. Let us include a list within a list. We can access an element using its corresponding indexes. So type in command non-empty. So type list in list equal to in square brackets again a square bracket 4 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma and in single quotes and then comma 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 so now we can access an element of a list using corresponding index so index of the first element of a list is 0 so for the list non empty, non empty 0 gives the first element no empty within brackets 1, the second element and so on. So and non empty 3 the last element. So type in command non empty within square bracket 0 then again non empty within brackets 1 then non empty 3. So now pause the video here and try out the following exercise and resume the video. So what happens when you do non-empty in minus 1? So you can switch to terminal and type non-empty in minus 1 in square bracket. As you can see uh, you get the data, you get the data at the last element which is 1.234. In Python negative indices are used to access elements from the end. So minus 1 gives the last element which is the fourth element. Minus 2 gives element to last and minus 4 gives the fourth from the last. Which in this case is the element first. So type non empty minus 2 then non empty minus 4 to see the output. We can also append elements to the end of a list using the append function. So type non empty dot append within brackets in single quotes one more then you can see an error. Okay, so then type non empty then type non empty dot append within bracket 6 
then again non empty so please pause the video here and do the exercise and then continue first one what is the syntax to get the element and in the list then list in list the second one how do you get and using negative indices so the solution is on your screen as we can see non empty is appended with one more and six at the end let us move further we can use len function to check the numbers of elements in the list let us find out the length of list non empty so type in command len with in brackets non empty just like we can append elements to a list we can also remove them there are two ways of doing it one is by using index so we'll try just type del with in brackets non empty and in square brackets one the function del delete the element at index 1 that is the second element of the list x the other way is removing element by content let's say one wishes to delete 100 from non empty list for this one one could use the function remove so type non empty dot remove with in brackets 100 but what if there were 200 to check that let's do a small experiment now in command type non empty dot append within within brackets in single quotes spam then type non empty then type non empty dot remove within brackets in single quotes spam then type non empty for the output if we check now we will see that the first occurrence spam is removed and therefore the function remove removes the first occurrence of the element in the sequence and leaves the other untouched one should remember this that while del removes by index number remove removes on the basis of content being passed on let us take an example type like del gives us within brackets 1 comma 2 comma 3 so type on the terminal k is equal to within square brackets 1 comma 2 comma 1 comma 3 and then type del within brackets and then square brackets k then in square brackets 2 remove will gives us 2 comma 1 comma 3 since it delete the first occurrence of what is returned by x2 which is 1 so type k dot remove and in brackets x then in square brackets 2 as we have seen an error you have to change the x of 2 to k of 2 okay so now pause the video here and try out the following exercise and resume first one remove the third element from the list list in list and second question remove and from the list list in list and the solution is on your screen So this brings us to the end of this tutorial. In this tutorial, we have learned to create lists, access lists using their index numbers, append elements to lists using the function append, then delete element from list by specifying the index numbers of the element to be deleted in the del function, then delete element from list using content using remove function, and the final one is fi to find out the list using the list length using len function. So here are some self assessment questions for you to solve. The first one, how do you create an empty list? Second one, can you have a list inside a list? 
third one how do you access the end of a list without finding its length now and the answers the first one we create an empty list just by leaving the space inside the square brackets empty and it will be like empty is equal to plain square brackets empty square brackets and the second question we yeah yes list can obtain all the other data types including list and list underscore in list is equal to within bracket 2 comma 3 then again in bracket 2 comma 4 comma 6 string all data types can be there and the final one using negative indices we can access the list from the end using negative indices this is an example non empty is equal to within square bracket spam comma x comma 100 comma 1.234 then you can type non empty then in minus 1 in square bracket so hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and found it useful thank you